so in today's session what we will be discussing here is that some of the client side best practices what are the best practices <clears throat> so while driving right while driving there will be some limitations right you have to go slow at uh, the curves huh? you have to use some speed limit you have to give the signals these are all best practices so you can say guidelines similar way while doing scripting in the client side also you have to follow some best practices what are those best practices let us say using ui policies is a best practice so if a requirement can be achieved it using client script so let me is my recording is on okay so now guys we are discussing some client side best practices we are discussing some client side best practices so let us say here whenever you are actually making a field mandatory you can make a field mandatory using uh, dictionary you can make a field mandatory using ui policy data policy using client script so uh, using all these ways you can make field mandatory which is fine hmm? but at at certain condition if you have to make a field mandatory so then you will use either ui policy or data policy or client script so out of these out of this which one is best practice means so i would say ui policy or data policy ui policy or data policy because ui policy because <clears throat> client scripts using client script also you can achieve the same requirement using ui policy also you can achieve the same requirement but we have to always choose ui policy we have to always choose ui policy because client script will run in the beginning after the client script ui policy will run that is actually one best practice so remember this point guys if a requirement can be achieved it using both ui policy and client script it is best practice to go for ui policy why is that because client script will run fast after that ui policy will run okay that is why we will always recommend you to use ui policy that is actually one best practice so let us say if you are writing client script so in the client script don't use too many alerts alerts we are see, we have seen right alerts we have kept alerts right don't keep too many alerts that will actually that doesn't make sense okay <clears throat> so right click configure if you go to the client scripts so here in the client script don't write don't write too many alerts let us say in the same client script if you if you use 10 10 alerts means that will cause mess right don't use too many alerts in the client script and don't write glide record in the client script this is what we have already discussed so while we are discussing glide record sorry glide ajax before glide ajax we had used glide record we had used the glide record in the client side scripting so using glide record in the client side scripting is also not a best practice this is actually third best practice okay so before glide record we had also used get reference g underscore form dot get reference using get reference is also not a best practice okay <clears throat> so using ui policy is a best practice writing too many alerts is not a best practice so don't write too many alerts in the client side scripting don't use glide record in the client side scripting don't use get reference in the client side scripting okay here in the client side scripting one important one don't use dom manipulation i think we have discussed dom manipulation using um uh, glide form g underscore form dot 
get control. So let us say, <clears throat> so in the demo incident form, we have actually hidden this, this particular icon here. If you guys remember, magnifying glass we have hidden, right? So this is like a DOM manipulation. DOM manipulation. So DOM manipulation is in, in the sense we have got the, we have inspected the element. We have inspected the element the other day. Okay. So using this ID, So using this ID, we have hidden this, right? We have hidden this, right? <clears throat> yeah. So inspect means control shift I. Or you can directly somewhere here, just right click. And somewhere here, you will see inspect element. Inspect option is not there. Huh? So then you have to go use control shift I. Okay. See here, glide ajax dot get XML weight asynchronous function process ajax jelly runner. So using get XML weight is also a not best practice. <clears throat> While you are using glide ajax right in the client side scripting, using get XML weight is also is, is also a not best practice. Hmm? So we'll we'll make a note for it. It will make your life easy. So one is Use UI policies. Instead, in place, instead of client scripts. See, if it is if you are not able to achieve it using UI policy, then there is no other option. You have to go for client scripts. If you are able to achieve it using both client script and UI policy, it is best practice to go for UI policy. Okay, that is actually first one. Second one. Second, th second one. So fourth one. Sir, in the fourth line, get reference, sir, you are mentioned R, G, E, R. Okay. 
This is actually fifth best practice. Sixth best practice is actually do not ever use document dot get element by ID. So here, right, you can use document dot So here, don't use document dot get element by ID in the client side scripting. So why do we use this document dot get element by ID? Here, if you have to do some manipulation on the form, we will be using DOM manipulation. So don't use DOM manipulation. So if you use DOM manipulation, right? What will happen is that today it will work fine. Tomorrow it will not work properly due to elements change. Let us say the form is changed means let us say they will actually give you some other look and feel. Then the elements will be changed. When the element changes, your script DOM, DOM manipulation will not work. So that is why service now will not allow you, will not actually recommend you to write DOM manipulation. Okay. Okay. So seventh one, if there is any reusable code, if there is any reusable code, reusable code in the sense, let us say, if you have to get the short description value, so what you will do? So if you have to get the short description, you need short description value four times. You should not call four times. You should call only one time where where SD is equal to G underscore form dot get value U underscore short underscore description. So you have actually got the value, right? that value you, you have stored here. So to get the short description value, you will not write always g underscore form dot get value. You will write only g underscore form dot get value once and you will store that variable here. So you can use that variable in the scripting how many times you want, you, those many times you can use that variable. So here I can use SD here. How many times you want, those many times you can use here. Okay, don't call the similar script multiple times. You don't have to, you don't have to use this g underscore form dot get value here. Here also one more time calling. Here also you are calling one more time. So rather than calling two times, what I'm doing, I'm actually calling one time, I'm storing, in, storing the value in a variable. Okay, so that variable what I'm doing, so instead of writing too much, uh, this line of script, I'm actually using variable here. Okay. This is also a best practice. So here, if there is any reusable script, so let us say, <clears throat> if you have five lines of script, if you have to write file and subscript every time. So instead of writing that, right, what you will do is you will create a function. You will call that function. So if there is, if there is any reusable code, you will make that in a function, you will call that function. Reusable code. Reusable code, reusable code you will actually keep it in a function and you will not, you will call that function everywhere. So it will actually avoid writing multiple lines of scripting. So this is actually one best practice. Okay. <clears throat> Clear, right? So we use the UI scripts for uh, that reusable code, right? 
Yes. Okay. So, why do we use UI scripts? UI scripts are used to call in multiple tables. Okay. So, if you if you have to call the script in multiple tables, you have to create a UI script. But in the same script, if you have to use multiple times with if you have to use script multiple times, then you will define a function. You will call that function. You can also create a UI script as well. But UI script is recommended if you have to call that script in a multiple tables or multiple places across the system, then you will, it is recommended to go for UI scripts. But when it comes to the one table and in that two in one script, if you are using multiple lines of script, then you, you have to define a function. You have to call that function in the client side scripting. Does it make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, got it. So keep Okay. Clear, right? So these are the sum of the client side best practices. Okay. So the eighth best practice is that. So always remember, guys, when you have done with the scripting, the uh, when you are done with the scripting, right? So always use this parameter which will actually make the script uh, in a proper format which which will look which looks good for look and feel when somebody takes a look at that script right they will be easily be able to understand that if you if you format it if you don't format it it will be in a zigzag manner if somebody takes a look at that it looks awkward and they won't be able to understand it 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 takes a lot of time to understand that so then it is always best practice to use this parameter Okay. Use format when done with scripting. Okay. So these are all the some of the best practices in the client side, guys. So you guys are able to understand, right?